What up, peeps? It's Gabe, and I am coming today with a cooking video. When's the last time I did a cooking video? Like, seriously. I can't even remember. I'm probably gonna say like 2011 sometime. <laughs> way, way back in the day. So I thought this would be something kind of cool just to show you guys maybe some of my favorite meals or some quick, easy meals for you guys. And we're gonna start off with this first meal from Plated. If you guys have never heard of Plated, I'll put a link down below in the description box where you can check them out. It's a subscription service where you choose the menu and they send it out to you. They send you fresh, pre-packaged ingredients already ready with a list of instructions on how to make it. So it doesn't get any easier than that. So let's see, this is the box, this is how it came. And when you open it, it has two meals. So today we're gonna do quinoa salad and seared salmon and avocado. So it's really cool. Gives you a picture, talks about what it is gives you some cooking tips, and then on the back, it gives you step-by-step -step instructions. Everything comes just like this, and it's labeled. So it says quinoa, salmon, and avocado salad on here, so you'll know what the ingredients are for. Under two bags of ice, you have the meat. So here's the salmon. I'm gonna get all these ingredients laid out and show you exactly what's included. Okay, so here are our ingredients and how they come packaged. Two fillets of salmon, two limes, one red onion, two-thirds cup of quinoa, cilantro and scallions, apple cider vinegar, one avocado, and a pint of tomatoes. So now we're going to get started with our prep. and We're going to slice our tomatoes in half lengthwise, chop up some onions, scallions, and cilantro if that's your thing. We're not big fans, so we decided to skip it. Next, you want to slice both limes in half, and there you go. Now let's get cooking. Take one cup of water or broth and add it to a pan over medium-high heat. I prefer to use the broth because it gives off a better flavor, but it's your choice. Add the quinoa and bring it to a boil. Once it starts boiling, you want to reduce the heat to low cover it and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Be sure to remove it from the heat after 10 minutes so that it does not overcook. So now we're gonna get started with our salmon. Take one tablespoon of olive oil and place it over medium high heat. I took my salmon and rinsed it, patted it dry and seasoned it with a little bit of salt and pepper on both sides. Place it in the skillet skin side up first and cook for about three minutes. Once the three minutes are up, you want to flip them over on the other side and cook for about three to four more minutes depending on how well you want your salmon. Now we're going to move on to our salad. We're going to take one tablespoon of olive oil, the juice of one and a half limes, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, Add in the quinoa, tomatoes, scallions, and onions. Toss all the ingredients together and top with a little bit of pepper. You can add salt too. And there's your salad. So now we're going to move on to the avocado. Slice it in half. So then I scooped out the flesh sliced it thinly and then I laid it out on a plate and squeezed the last piece of lime on top of it and then topped it with a little bit of pepper. Now for the fun part. So originally this was supposed to be two servings but you guys know that I have a family of three so I was able to stretch this into three servings and still have a little bit of extra left over. So once your salad has been divided evenly, you just want to take the salmon, pull it away from the skin, and add it to the salad. Top with avocado, and there you go. Dinner is served. 
Alright guys, so there you have it. That's how you make quinoa salad with seared salmon and avocado. It looks really, really good. I have not tasted it yet. So, let's do the taste test. Mmm. Mmm, good. It's real nice and light. Like, mmm, I'm a fan. Mmm. This is it right here. Good stuff. So, <clears throat> wait, <laughs> I should probably do my food first, right? All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this cooking video. If you would like to see more, thumbs up or let me know down below in the comments that you want to see more cooking and I'll try and get that done for you. I will put the link for Plate It down below in the description box so you can check them out if you are interested. And yeah, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know what to do. Leave them down below. And as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.